So welcome to the Runtime Era, the place where programming begins. Today we are going to start a data structure section for the companies like TCS NQT, Wipro, Infosys and Capgemini. So just in case if you are new to the Runtime Era, do subscribe the channel so that you can get enough practice on data structures. So today we are going to solve our the first question from Code Greedy Placement Portal that is check whether the given array is sorted or not. So without further delay, let's check what does the question says. So before we begin, let me tell you, CodeGrid is a platform where you will be getting everything at one place to prepare for replacement. Right from domain-wise project topics, resume review, coding sheets, schedule a mock interview, and most important point, topic-wise aptitude section. Do check this website. The link of this website is given in the description box. So let's check what does a question says. So we have given an array of size n. And what we need to check is whatever the array we have given, we need to check whether that array is sorted or not. So what do you mean by a sorted array? So let us first discuss what do you mean by sorted array. See what I can say about sorted array is can we say that my next element, my next element has to be greater than or equal to its previous element. Is it right? If you see over this, my next element has to be greater than or equal to its previous element. So looking to this, can we say that the given array that is this given array is sorted or not? So let's check. If you see the 10 is less than or equal to 20, yes. 20 is less than or equal to 30, yes. 30 is less than or equal to 40 and 40 is less than or equal to 40, 50. Which means the given array is completely sorted. Is it right? Because it is following this principle that is my next element has to be greater than or equal to its previous element. So let's check another sample input output so that we can get clear identification of this question. So here we will check is my 20 is less than equal to 20? Yes. Is my 30 is greater than equal to 20? Is my 4 greater than equal to 30? Absolutely not. And because of this, we can say that my array is not at all sorted. Can we say that my array is not at all sorted? So this is the question we need to solve that whether the given array is sorted or not. And as I told you over here, the sorting is nothing but my next element has to be greater than or equal to its previous element. So how we can approach this question? So let's check it out. So let's check how we can approach this question. So as I told you that my next element has to be greater than or equal to its previous element. So what we can do is we simply start traversing the array from this position and we will check to its previous element whether this it is following this condition or not. So let's write this. So what I'm doing is so simply I'm starting from the index one and I will go till index n minus one. So I will check if my air of i minus one is less than equal to air of i if it is equal equals to false which means if this is false can we say that the my given array is not at all sorted therefore i will simply return as false and once i come out of this loop once i come out of this loop and none of this condition gets satisfied which means if this condition is not satisfied then can we say that my given array is already sorted is already sorted therefore what i will do is i will simply return true once i come out of this for loop so let's check in the given example over here so I'm standing at this position that is 20 and I'm check is my 20 is less than sorry greater than or equal to 10 because I'm checking its previous element right i minus 1 yes this condition gets true therefore this if condition will not return true then I will come at 30 then I will check is my 30 is greater than or equal to 20 yes it is and then come at 40 is my 40 greater than or equal to 30 yes Again, I come at 50. Is my 50 greater than or equal to 40? Yes. Therefore, can we say that this if condition is not true at any point of time? Therefore, we come out of this loop and simply return true, which means the given array is sorted array. So I hope so you understood the approach to solve this question. It is a really easy question, so I don't want to waste much time in this question. Now let's check out what will be the C++ code for the given problem. So here you can see that we have given an array ARR of size n and what we did is we started traversing from 1 till n and we checked each element to its previous element whether it is greater than or equal to and if this condition becomes false we simply return false stating that the given array is not at all sorted. Therefore once we come out of this loop we simply return true because the given array is already sorted. So this was the most easiest question for you. I hope so you like the way I'm teaching you. Just in case if you are new to the runtime error, do hit the subscribe button so that you can practice data structures for your placement. Till then, have a happy coding.